wondering how plasterboard is produced, wondering how a wet drywall is dried, want to know the process this and plan of the production line. If you're considering buying a drywall production line, do you know how big a building will be to accommodate it? Or how much production line should you equip your existing plant with? To learn more about the drywall production line, please watch this video till the end. In the video, we will discuss everything about the core process of the gypsum board production line and more. First, let's take a look at the main raw material of gypsum board. Semi-water building gypsum powder, the so-called hemihydrate gypsum is dehydrated by dihydrate gypsum. We lose two-thirds of our water molecules to form hemihydrate gypsum with half the water molecules. The method of obtaining hemihydrate gypsum is from natural gypsum ore. First crushed into blocks with a diameter of 20 to 25 centimeters, then ground to 100 mesh powder. After the boiling furnace drying water, semi-water gypsum powder is formed, combined with local conditions. Desulfurization gypsum from power plants or phosphogypsum from phosphate fertilizer plants can also be used. Hemihydrate gypsum can be obtained after the two kinds of gypsum powder are dried in a boiling furnace. Can be used as raw material for gypsum board. The heating fuel used in the gypsum board production line should be selected from the local market. Low price, short distance, convenient transportation is the first choice. You can choose coal, natural gas, diesel oil or heavy oil for heating and drying. Among them, coal, heavy oil, usually equipped with boiler use, natural gas, diesel equipped with hot blast stove use. Drying is the core process of the gypsum board production line. It is the key to determine the quality of gypsum board. The common process type is heat transfer oil. First, heat the heat transfer oil in the pipeline. The air from the dryer is further heated by the heat exchanger to dry the gypsum board. At present, the production line with large output will use hot air furnace to dry. After heating the clean air through the heat exchanger to form hot air, then the hot air directly enters each area of the dryer to dry the gypsum board which is clean and hygienic. You can also choose burner direct combustion drying. This is a new drying method. The hot air of the burner is directly added to the circulating air. The temperature is high. The efficiency is fast, and the product is good, but it costs a little fuel. Next comes the most frequently asked questions. Regarding the floor area of the production line, how much workshop is needed to accommodate this production line? The gypsum board production line has a very long initial setting system. Therefore, the area of the workshop is also determined by the initial setting system. Suppose you need a production line with an annual output of 10 million million square meters. Now let's calculate his footprint. Now at 10 million output. The initial setting time of gypsum powder is 4.5 minutes. And the width of gypsum board is 1.2 meters. Our purpose is to calculate the initial setting distance. Now we have the initial setting time. So the initial setting speed is also needed. The annual output of the million square meters. Divided by 7,200 hours, divided by 60 minutes, is the output per minute. It is approximately equal to 23 square meters, which is the area. Divided by the width of 1.2 meters, which is approximately equal to the length of 20 meters per minute. 20 meters multiplied by 4.5 minutes equals 90 meters, which is the length of the initial setting system. 
In addition to the front end paper forming system 15 to 20 meters, and the rear end of the acceleration traverse system 15 to 20 meters, the total length of the obtained gypsum board production N is about 120 to 130 meters. Through the above calculation, the length of the drying system can also be obtained. The initial setting speed is 20 meters per minute, and the fixed time required for gypsum board drying is 45 minutes. The length of the dryer can be calculated. 10 million annual output is usually 8 layers, so the speed of the dryer is calculated as follows. 20 meters per minute divided by 8 layers divided by 2 after the traverse distribution. 2 gypsum boards enter the drawer at the same time is equal to 1.25 meters per minute. So the speed of the dryer is 1.25 meters per minute. The drying time is 45 minutes. And the length of the dryer is approximately equal to 60 meters. Based on the above two questions, we can clearly calculate the floor space required for the gypsum board production line. Of course, according to the output of the production line, the space required for the production line is also different. Remove the raw materials. The site required for the stacking of finished products. The stacking set is determined according to the stacking time. I have compiled a comparison table for you to refer to. 1 million equipment area 45 times 25 meters workshop area 80 times 30 meters. 5 million equipment area 70 times 25 meters workshop area 110 times 30 meters. 10 million equipment area 120 times 35 meters workshop area 160 times 40 meters. 20 million equipment area 220 times 35 meters workshop area 260 times 40 meters. 30 million equipment area 270 times 45 meters workshop area 310 times 50 meters. Because of our professional ability, our equipment is also sold all over the world. Tanzania, Thailand, Vietnam, Syria, India, Uzbekistan, etc. Many countries and regions are using our equipment. The last question you are most concerned about, how long will it take to make money from this production line? First, the equipment processing and production time is 6 months. Shipping time by sea is TWE months. On-site installation time is 3 months. Equipment debugging, staff training time for 1 month. This is a normal time frame. Adjustments will also be made according to your requirements. We hope this video gives you the knowledge you are looking for. This information will help you choose a more suitable gypsum board production line. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Contact me on WhatsApp. Can give you more targeted advice.